Tonight, Oklahoma City hosts the Houston Arrows in two plus seasons. This series has had its fair share of very close games, and this season is no exception, with seven of nine games being decided by just one goal. Uh, well, we just have to worry about what we're going to do. We want to come out with a with a strong start, and um, you know, we we know we haven't had the greatest success against them this year, but we have had success in the past against them uh, last year uh, and in the playoffs too. So, we, you know, we know we know we can beat this team, and um, we're on home ice here, so we want to protect that and and use our crowd to our advantage. And like I said, come out with a with a strong start. Um, and then and build from there, but uh, um, we don't want to think too much about uh, you know them beating us a lot this year. We just want to make sure we take care of uh, tonight's game. Houston's Mikhail Granlin has seen his time in the NHL this year, but he still has six points in four games against Oklahoma City this season, making him a player the Barons will zero in on tonight. Well, he's a he's a smart hockey player with skill. Like he uh, he creates scoring opportunities. He has he has good touch around the net. Uh, he's not an overly big guy, but he's but he's highly skilled. Um, Every time that we've played against him, he had he factored it in the scoring in some way. Uh, he's a guy that we're gonna have to be very aware of uh, when he's on the ice. Uh, but just a good, solid hockey player. Uh, he's he's spent uh, time in the National Hockey League, so he's right in the cusp of uh, you know playing the National League for a long time. So uh, he's a player that we definitely have to. Uh, not so much focus on, but just be aware when he's on the ice. Well, he's uh, he's kind of been a Barons killer uh, against us this year. He's, uh, he's been able to find the back of the net or set people up to find the back of the net a lot this year. So, um, like I said earlier, we're going to need to be physical on him and uh, take away his time and space. And um, yeah, he's he's going to be a huge key for their uh, for their game tonight. And if, if we can uh, neutralize him a little bit, I think we'll have better success. To bolster their blue line, the Barons recalled defenseman Nathan Deck from the Stockton Thunder of the ECHL yesterday, and he is happy to be back in Oklahoma City. Yeah, it was exciting. You know, my coach yesterday morning told me I'm going back up, so you know, I was excited. I had a good practice yesterday and got ready for today and had a good pregame skate, so I'm excited to be here. It's good to see all the guys again and I'm ready to go. Well, you know, Nathan's a player that uh, we called up earlier in the year and spent a lot of time with him, and, uh, you know, he's he's... He proved that he could play at this level. He's a he's a hardworking defenseman. Uh, you, you definitely know what you're going to get from uh, day in and day out. Uh, his work ethic is ex is excellent, and he competes hard. He's not a very big guy, um, uh, but he competes hard in the corners, and he and he wins those loose puck battles. So um, we brought him up because uh, we need depth here as we go along here, and uh, you know we're happy to have him back. Tonight's Barons game is at 7 p.m. Doors open at 6 p.m. You can get your tickets online at OKCBarons.com or by calling 405-232-GOAL. The first 2,000 fans in attendance receive a free Dr. Pepper and Barons bucket hat. And also, it is $2 beer and $1 hot dogs. Reporting from Oklahoma City, Chris Westcott, OKCBarons.com.